my guys I could have left the video just like this and that's it but before I wanted to sign off I did want to address some of these colors my favorites and just the formula in general I hope you like the demos it took me a while to do my lips feel so chapped and I kept the last shade on just because I don't want to take any more off although the application is a little rough let's just start with talking about my newest in this collection of three lip suede and that is the Le Nudes one this one out of all three of them has the refillable packaging and also out of all three of them this one feels way more balmy than the other two meaning that the formulation is a little bit different it is the newest one in my collection but it's clear to see that the colors aren't as opaque as the other two now there is a market for this type of formulation you can imagine that people that do like the shade but don't like the matte feeling they might enjoy this Le Nuz collection everything comes in that same type of circular packaging so if you have a super loaded tinted highlights or the bronzer it's all the same size I think we have to thank uh, consciously crafted beauty for these beautiful beauties the mirror is amazing in this and as a palette as a whole I do enjoy that there is a good range of colors in here I was surprised with the amount of pigment that was in there in the sense that there wasn't as much as I expected the second shade for example I'll put the name over here because I'm terrible with names but the second shade was barely visible on my lips and I would probably use that just as a clear balm which is a little bit unfortunate for the price that you pay other than that I'm so happy to have this in my collection then of course we have this a bad boy area this is the burgundy lip suede this is the only one that's limited edition and this is the second lip suede i ever owned if you want to buy this lip suede it's still available and you get it together with the la parla highlight stick i am wearing la parla on my skin today this lip suede really taught me so much it comes in that i guess formulation that is a matte formulation it definitely looks like a suede when you first see it and i like the versatility in here you have that amazing brick red in there but you also have a really beautiful nude which is one of my favorite nudes in my entire collection i like this matte formulation a lot it's not comparable to my lisa aldrich formulation but in terms of mattes it's really wearable. I would suggest using a lip balm first before applying these, just so that you don't have that extremely matte feeling. But once you do that, they stay on the lips, especially the reds. They stay on the lips for a really long time. The reds, um, they do stain, so it helps in staying power, but it also, you know, you need to know if they do stain. So if you make a mistake, you definitely made a mistake. I definitely learned in, instead of using my fingers, using a lip brush, with these just because then I can get better application going thick application but also more precise application and you don't have to use your fingers so your fingers won't stain for the swatches this time around I did use my fingers and that's why you see some of these being pink or red and it's gonna stay a while these shades are beautiful on its own but they also really work well together in the sense of if you want to lighten up a shade you use this one if you want to darken up a shade you use that third shade and if you just want to play along with them yeah this is definitely an experimental palette and a great burgundy palette for Westman Atelier to come out with I wish the packaging however was refillable because this is one of my favorite packaging out there I love this burgundy shade and I'm a little bit upset that if this is gone and off the market I won't be able to use this beautiful stunning packaging anymore then of course we have the reds Le Rouge this was the first lip suede I owned and it took me a while to love this one as much as I do my Le Bordeaux ones. It has that same matte formulation as the Bordeaux one and when I first wore this, yeah, the shades were beautifully. I didn't own a lip brush at the time or at least I wasn't accustomed using a lip brush so I went in with my fingers and I always got staining which I thought that was a little annoying because I was like, yeah, you know, part of this on the go, you could just use this and blot your lips with it. But every time I did that, everything was always red. My clothing would be stained red. So, okay, on the run, I didn't like this, guys. Then let's get to the colors. The colors are four stunning colors, but that's it. There was no experimentation with this palette because these are fully baked colors. It's a true red, a true, like, deep tomato red true pink 
yes you could technically use the colors to deepen out your pink or deepen out your red but let's be honest the reds are reds the pink are pinks and yeah there was no experimentation with it however now that i have this for a little while i do see way more value in this palette as in you open it or you use it like you would use an eyeshadow palette with four one and dones. It's just so that you can see the four colors right in front of you and go, okay, today I'm going to use the second shade. In terms of ease of use, I do see more value in having a little lip palette like this. My most preferred one, as you can imagine, is the Le Bordeaux one. It is a limited edition one. It's still available, so I would definitely you know, push you if you are looking at one of these lip suites to look at that one first, just because if it's not there anymore, it's limited edition, it's gone. All of these lip suites are stunning. I can't make the argument for you if four lipsticks are better than one of these lip palettes. I do think that these lip palettes, they have a special place in my collection. They serve a purpose that just individual lipsticks don't do. And it's a really good formula. So do I think these are worth the money? Honestly, absolutely yes. If you have a color story that you gravitate towards, then definitely I would recommend trying at least one of these. I think they are beautiful. If you like a balm type, get the Lanudes one. If you like a lot of versatility and you think you are one of those people that likes to be creative with their colors, I think the Le Bordeaux one is really good for you because of that color versatility but if you just want to have one lip product in your collection but you want to have multiple lip shades and you are kind of a bold lip wearer then the Le Rouge one is definitely your go-to. I'm gonna sign off over here I didn't want to make this video too long for you guys but this video was a long time coming for my channel it's one of the videos that I wanted to do before I even started my channel. I love Westman Atelier. I have a few videos up on my channel on Westman Atelier, so I did start making a playlist, which I'm gonna add to over the years that I do YouTube. I hope it's gonna be years. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll make sure to link everything down below in affiliates. I also make sure to put the timestamps down below if you wanna revisit or just wanna see some of the lip colors again, the swatches, everything you'll find down below. Also, I'm wearing a full Westman Atelier face today. If you liked anything about that, also, you can see it down below. Check out the playlist. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Westman Atelier. Comment down below if you have any questions about these products. I love replying to comments. I try to always make long replies. So definitely, I encourage you to comment down below. If you liked anything about this video, please make sure to press a like. Without likes, I probably wouldn't be doing any more of these type of videos. So definitely if you see value in videos like this, make sure to like, not just on my channel, but on everyone's channel. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.